Hello, je tech give me and lovers. My name is Ilan Valtteris and we are back with another video of Horizon The Zero Dawn. And today we are doing the mission of Deep Secrets of the Earth. Go to the Citadel, go to Earth and let's go. So the thing is, I didn't know. Hmm, I can buy this one. This one is the stronger one. Okay. Oh, I can buy. I can buy both. I'm gonna buy this one. I think it is this one here. Okay, and I will buy this one as well. I was trying to say that <laughs> I'm not sure about what to buy. Am I kind of confused every time? I'm still using a green one. I think I can buy that one. Mm. I don't know if it's gonna make difference. Hmm. I should try to find Crystal Brighting, Shed, Walker Heart. Hmm. This one I think it's one of the best. Watcher Heart. I should try to find Watcher Heart to buy this one. Because I already have the the other requirements. Okay, let's try to sell things. I think that's it. Okay, now I need to go to my Right, just a second, I have to set up the, the timer. Okay, because we don't want to be playing for a long time. Okay, let's continue. So I need to come here and we have some new tutorials. Okay. Okay, that's right. Should put things here. Damage. Okay, let's put under order first. Ah, oh, it's different. Fire hate, fire and shock. Just handling, handling and tear. I think handling and tear is a good one. And the other could be the damage. Oh, fire and damage. I think fire and damage. Let's go to this one. 
Hätteli. Put handling. Okay. Ah, this one has this other thing. Mm. What the? What is this? Shadow shop is full. Mm. I will try to use this. Okay, probably the next video we can try to find some uh, hearts, some equipments that we can upgrade our weapons and our clothes and things like that. Okay, let's see this. It's the kid. What a talk. I don't want to talk to her. Mm. Now it's interesting. Go to the great balcony. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, just tell it. Mm. Okay, so he said that we should do our quest first and be fully prepared 
to do this mission. So okay, it's level 21. And what level you are? You are level 22. Hmm. I think we are fully prepared. We have some side quests, but I don't know if we should do the side quest first. I don't think so. Let's go. Hey, da. What's happening? Okay, let's go. Okay, so something really strange happened there. I'm not sure if there's anything back. Okay. Probably there's something here. Okay, this is a strange place. Holographic theater. Okay, another good thing. Project scene. Zero Dawn. What? I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. What? I'm sure you've heard the rumors. Okay. Zero Dawn is a top What's secret happened? super weapons program. Just a second, guys. A technological audio miracle here. that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots. Okay, we are back with enough. audio. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them and they are all lies zero dawn is not a super weapons program and it will not save us nothing will save us and here's why by the time the glitch was noticed it was already too late 
Nothing could stop the Pharaoh plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. What? No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. Mm. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? Mm. One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. Mm. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Mm. Now I'm understanding. So they knew that's impossible to avoid the apocalypse. But they wish. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. Yeah, that's because Zero dies. Zero that worked. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Yeah, that's a gonna curve. How she did it. Castles. Oh. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Okay, there's some enemies there. I need to kill them. Leader strike. No monstrous darkness should keep us from this girl. Is that leader? I'll turn your back on the enemy. <laughs> the leader ran. Mm. Ok, 
Okay, let's see if there's something here. Nothing. This will do. No, I don't want this. Another playback. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? Mm. This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An mm. immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life we call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Interesting, really interesting. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. I was witness for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answer's in my head.
Interesting. So she created an artificial intelligence called Gaia that has all the Greek gods' names. Alert. Medical wing inaccessible. Oh. Uh, to after the apocalypse read, Gaia can create it, recreate the world. But something right now is not good. One of the things that uh, that was the the apocalypse with the the machines and the machine killed everything, every animal, every tree, every bear, woman, human, then Gaia uh, disactivated all those machines and started rebuilding everything. But now, Abe is one of Gaia's uh, intelligence are trying to kill Aloy. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. I'll try. It's kind of complicated because they are freaking strong. Burn to die. <laughs> mm, I thought there was someone close. So let's continue and not die. Power's down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. Can I take everything? Why not? Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Okay, I have to go down. It looks like there is a puzzle here. Let's understand this puzzle and solve it. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Ok. 
Okay. What is the right configuration? I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Okay. I'll find a use for you. Okay, I don't really know. Oh, there's something there. How can I go up? Maybe over here? No. Ah, okay. Now I can see. Hmm. It's on reverse. Okay, understood. So the first one is... Counterclockwise. It's up, counterclockwise. It's down and clockwise. Let's see. Good. I should check the door nearby. Mm. So now I need to resell the energy for this one. Okay. Which door she is talking about? This one? Okay. Nothing close. Let's continue. I have to climb. Okay, let's go. So now probably I go up and turn the on the th th that thing. Yeah. Let's go there. Oh my god, they're crazy. Why she didn't go to the, the hole? She's so dumb sometimes. Okay, you should go in the row. Yeah. But what I should do here? Should I do anything here? Something here? Oh yeah. I have to get this. Found one. Looks intact. Hmm. I just need one. Okay, I think so. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Okay, this one is down. This one is left. This one is up. On is right and down. And down. That did it. Door should have power. Okay. To see what lies beyond it. Let's go. That wasn't that hard. I just need to to see that thing. It wasn't showing. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? Mm. I started the photo mode here. So much for avoiding contact. Okay. That's right. 
Could be something here. My God. What is that? What is that hope? Oh. oh. There's someone at the top. It's crazy. Should bring some of this thing. Just need to kill those two. But they are at top and It doesn't look like they will stop coming. What? Gotcha. Yeah, that was crazy. You have to find Gaia. It's not that difficult that I imagine, but it's difficult. <laughs> okay, let's get everything. So that's it, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. So see you guys in the next video where you're going to continue the part two.
of deepest secrets on the world thank you very much have a good day see you guys tomorrow bye bye